friends welcome back to my channel in today's video I'm gonna be showing you how I do my own show day makeup for when I am stepping on stage for a bodybuilding competition so I'm gonna try my best I am NOT a makeup artist by any means I probably am doing a lot of this stuff wrong I don't know a ton about makeup but I did grow up on stage most of my life I was a dancer in my childhood and so I did have to do dramatic stage makeup as a young kid um, so I just kind of know that background and then I do watch a, a few like makeup YouTubers that I kind of find some tips and tricks from throughout the years, but I don't know what I'm talking about. So just bear with me. I'm just going to do what I do and hopefully you guys can find this helpful. A lot of people requested this video, so hopefully it goes well. This was like the only spot in my apartment that I could find a place to set up my ring lights plus my mirror and then also my camera. So hopefully you guys can see everything well because I will be able, I will be kind of moving to the side a little bit to use the mirror, but I think it'll go well. So I have all my makeup set up here on the side and I have no idea what the brushes are called, so I'm not going to be, you know, naming the types of brushes because I don't know much about it, but I will show you like what the brushes look like throughout the video. So yeah, I'm not, you know, an advanced makeup artist naming all these fancy brushes and everything, but let's get right into it. These clips right here I got at Ulta, but I'm sure you can probably find them on Amazon and they just are to kind of keep my hair out of the way when I'm doing my makeup and on show day they're nice because they're not going to ruin if you have curls or straight hair they will keep whatever your hairdo is on show day kind of they'll stop them from your hair from getting messed up because you won't be using like a hair tie or anything so all right so, gonna, the first thing. so the first thing that I'm going to be using is primer and this is the primer that I got and honestly, I just went into Ulta and asked them, you know, what's the best primer for makeup that's long lasting? And this is the one that they told me about and it's by Tula. So I'm just gonna put this on my fingers and get that going. All right, now while that primer kind of sets a little bit, I wanted to show you which foundations I use, and these are the two that I find work best with Protan. So with Protan, your skin kind of gets orangey, and you don't want your face to be an exact match to the Protan, um, but this is pretty close to what the Protan would look like, and I usually mix both of these colors. So this one is the um, color Classic Tan, and it's 310. Hopefully you guys can see that. My nails look horrible, so just ignore that because I'm getting them done tomorrow. And then this color is called Coco, and it is number 112. So those two colors I usually mix together, and I use a beauty blender for that. I'm going to go wet this, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I got my beauty blender kind of damp. And this is just the generic Ulta brand, it's nothing fancy. But what I like to do is get a little bit on the Beauty Blender and I will usually put it in a few, just kind of spread it throughout my face. Get a little bit more. And then I'll eventually blend. And then I grab a little bit of this one And it looks really crazy and orange, but I promise it's all part of the process. And I won't look this crazy once it's all blended out. All right, so now I'm just gonna get to blending. All right, guys, this is literally an arm workout. Whew, my arm, I think, is getting a pump from this. So. If I had the tan on, which I don't clearly because I'm not competing today, I would blend this into the tan. But right now I'm just kind of doing a little bit of my neck to kind of show you guys. 
Um, and then I also do a little bit on my ears because the tan doesn't go on there. And I try and really get it into the hairline um, because if you're like me, your hairline can be pretty pale. So it looks pretty even right now and I look very orange, but I promise that once I add concealer and contour and everything, it's gonna look much better and brighter and not as orange. So that are the first two steps, primer and then foundation. The next step is going to be concealer. So I use Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And yes, this is very pale compared to the show day tan, but honestly, that's what you need to really brighten up the middle of your face because you don't want your face to be too dark on stage. You want it to kind of brighten up. So I use the light medium honey. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. And I usually do concealer under my eyes, the middle of my nose, a little bit up in between my eyebrows and a little bit down on my chin and under my nose. Just kind of like the T-zone. I think that's what it's called. I don't know, but we'll go with that. So here, going up here. And that is where I put the concealer. And yes, I know I look crazy. And then this is my little concealer brush. I like one with a pointed end, just because then you can really get into the creases under your eye. So I'm gonna go dampen this and I'll be right back. All right, now that this is a little bit damp, I'm gonna go in and just lightly tap and have it start to blend with the foundation. But you don't want it to be um, as dark as the foundation. So it's okay that it's very light compared to the foundation. Sometimes I own, I also kind of bring some in over the eyelid as kind of just like a base for the eyeshadow. So as you can see now, it's kind of starting to get that contour effect because I have light and then dark, but I'm gonna make that even more dramatic once I add bronzer. So for now, the concealer is pretty well blended and I will blend more later. So for now, the next step is setting powder. So as the beauty people like to call it, baking. That's what I'm gonna do. So I use the, this is kind of dirty, but the Tarte Shape Tape setting powder and it comes with a little pad, but I actually don't like to use that. I like to use this beauty blender and this one I just keep dry and I just go in there with that. And everywhere that I put the concealer, I will pat the powder in and bake as they say. And I like to put a little extra under the eyes because that is where it's gonna catch the eyeshadow. So when I put eyeshadow on, if there's any fall off or if any of it just kind of comes down onto my under eyes, I can always wipe it away. So what I do with the bake or the powder, whatever you wanna call it, I just kind of leave it there until after I'm completely done with my eyeshadow. That way I can go ahead and use just like a powder brush and wipe away any excess eyeshadow that will fall on the powder. Hope that makes sense. So now for the eyeshadow, this will kind of depend on your suit color, but I like to kind of match the suit color, but not um, like if I was wearing a red suit, I don't know if I would wear a red eyeshadow, but I would kind of do like under, like orange undertones and just like a warm eyeshadow look. If I was wearing blues, then I might do a more cool eyeshadow look with cooler colors. But since I wear purple, I do kind of use purpley colors. And I like this ColourPop It's All Good palette. It's pretty dirty because there are a lot of purple shades and there's a lot of great base shades right here too to play around with. And then I also like to use some colors from the Urban Decay Naked Heat palette because as you can see, there are some great base colors right here, but then also there are some good purples as well. 
So those are really the two main palettes that I use. I also have a Naked Urban Decay Smoky palette that I might pull some shades from. This is an old eye eyelash that was stuck. Cute. Um, Cause they have some purples in there too. So I kind of just open up all my palettes and just kind of, I kind of just go with the flow with eyeshadow and I just keep building until I'm happy with the look. Like I said, I'm not a pro, so I just kind of go with it. Um, and then for my brushes, I got these brushes off of Amazon and they are kind of like Morphe brush dupes. I do have some Morphe brushes like this one. But these ones are just dupes from Amazon. I can try and find them on my Amazon like orders and go back and link them. But I just have a bunch of different eyeshadow brushes and yeah, that's what I'm gonna use. So let me just find the one that fell. And let's get started. So I'm gonna use this brush right here to get started. This is what the tip looks like. It's kind of flat and narrow, but it still has a decent um, like base, I guess you would call it. And I'm gonna get started on the eyeshadow. So for the first color that I am gonna use, I'm gonna go ahead and use this Good Vibes color right here, this light pink, and a little bit of this um, No Worries color. I'm gonna mix the two of those as just a base for my eyeshadow. And I kind of just pull the eyelid and get a base going. It's so weird for me to explain what I'm doing because I don't really feel like I know what I'm doing, but it usually comes out pretty good. So. And just get it all over your eyelid. And then with eyeshadow, what I like to do after I get a base down is I like to go from the outside in. So on the outside, I'll do the darker shades, and then on the inside, at the end, I'll do the lighter shades and the glitter. So that's what I'm gonna get started next. So I'm gonna use this kind of pointy brush for the outside, and I'm gonna go into this outer crease. And for that, I'm gonna use some purples. So I'm gonna use this um, rock sugar and all smiles so these two shades right here to get started on the outside and I just kind of pull and just go up and in like this kind of like a sideways V or like a less than sign And I really just get in that crease because the more you get in that crease, the more dramatic I feel like it will look. And don't be afraid to take your eyeshadow higher than you normally would either because the fake eyelashes will take up a lot of your eyelid. Unless you have like really big eyelids, the fake eyelashes will cover a lot of that eyeshadow. So don't be afraid to be dramatic, the bolder the better. So I'm gonna add a little bit more purple to this look since my suit is purple. And I think I'm gonna go with this color called um, Best Life and Dear Diary. So these two shades right here, I'm gonna use that same brush and just keep building upon that little outer corner that I already created. So the outer corner is pretty, it's looking pretty good for now. And as you can see over here, all of this makeup has kind of fallen off onto the white powder. And that's why I leave the white powder there because then it can just be easily cleaned up, which I'll show you guys after. But now I'm gonna work on the inside of my eyelid and I'm gonna use this right here. And for that, I'm gonna use this Happy Go Lucky color it's like a metallic -y light pink. I love this color. As you can see, it's like the most used in this palette. And I'm just going to go on the inside. And it'll kind of give me that little bit of shimmer. And 
And then what I like to do is I take a bigger, bulkier brush like this. And I will kind of blend the two. So I'll go back and forth between the two and blend the light with the dark so there's not like a huge harsh line. And that way it's more kind of even and spread out. Alright, the next thing that I like to do is this Stila Eye um, Glitter. Yeah, liquid eyeshadow glitter. And this color is called Diamond Dust. And with this, I just take a little bit and I put it on the inner corner and then I use a brush to kind of make it look a little bit less like I just threw some glitter on there and blend it in. So I'm gonna get real close here. And as you can see, it's like pretty well blended. There's no harsh lines. That's why I take that big brush at the end and just go across all of it. So I'm gonna just put this in here. I kind of like to just tap it instead of just smearing it. And add that there. And I will eventually blend that in as well. And then we will mark the eye. And just tap. Okay, so the glitter kind of looks weird right now, but then what I like to do is I take a brush while it's still wet. So since this is a liquid eyeshadow, it remains wet for a little while. And what I like to do is take a brush like this, just a thin, flat one, and I'll go in and just kind of blend it out so that it's not as harsh. Okay, and then I will take that big brush again and kind of go across all of it. So yeah, now the glitter kind of blends better and it's not as harsh as when you initially put it on, that liquid eyeshadow. Then the last thing that I do, since the outside kind of got a little bit washed up and it's not as bold. I'll just add a little bit more of the darker colors. I think I'm going to use a different palette now. Yeah, so I'm going to use the um, Urban Decay Naked Heat palette and get a little bit of this dark ashes color. And just go make this a little bit darker. And the great thing about eyeshadow when you're trying to be dramatic is you can just keep building and building and building. Mm -hmm. I'm just making that outer corner look a little bit more dramatic. I think that's pretty good. Now I just kind of touch things up. If I look, feel like things look uneven, I kind of just touch things up. Um, use the Then I will eventually use the white brush and just kind of get rid of some of that excess eyeshadow. Okay, so now that the eyeshadow is pretty much done, I'm going to take this white brush that is just from NYX or NYX, I don't know how you pronounce it, but take this brush and wipe away that extra glitter. So see that like excess right there? Now that that part is done, I will take this Revlon Photo Ready Insta Fix and it's a bronzer stick. And what I do with that, this is what it looks like, is I will kind of create this crease where my cheekbone is. And also a little bit up here. And I'll do a little bit next to my nose. And across the middle right here over the bridge of my nose. And then 
I will grab my bronzer brush, which is just this e.l.f. buffing foundation brush. And I will take my bronzer palette, which is this Benefit Fire Queen Boroscope. This is what it looks like. It's got blush and bronzer. And I will dip it into the bronzer and blend that line. Alright, so that is done, and now I'm going to do a little bit of blush. So for the blush, I'm going to grab this brush. This is just a kabuki brush that I got off like Amazon, but I'm going to do a little bit. When I take that blush, I'll do a little bit of each of these colors. And just do my upper cheekbone. Just that a little bit. And then the next step is going to be eyeliner. So for eyeliner, on my upper lid, I like to use this Stila waterproof liquid eyeliner with a micro tip. And then for my under lid, I decided to be a little bit fun. This show season and I got a purple eyeliner, but you can just get a generic black. And this is the Urban Decay Glide On Eye Pencil. And this color is uh, Psychedelic Sister. So this one I will use under my eyelid and this one I will use on top. So I'm gonna do this one first. I'm gonna go off to the side just so I don't poke my eye out because I need the mirror. I'm actually gonna go off camera to do my waterline and I'll be right back. All right guys, the under eye or like the waterline is done and now I'm gonna go ahead and do the top of my eyelid. I will try to do it on camera, but I might have to step away so that I can get closer to the mirror, but I'm gonna try and do it right here. Both upper eyelids are done. Wow, I'm impressed with myself for being able to do that <laughs> with the camera. So that's done. And now the next step is going to be mascara. I actually don't have my mascara in here, so let me go grab it really quick. Okay, so for mascara, I use this Benefit Bad Gal Bang mascara. It's my favorite mascara. I used to use the, um, I think it's Urban Decay or maybe it's Too Faced, but it's called Better Than Sex. That one I used to use, but it just started getting like really clumpy. Um, and this one, I love it. This is how it looks. And it just makes my eyelashes look phenomenal. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. You don't need to go crazy with the mascara on show day because you are gonna, you know, put fake lashes on, but I still like to do it to add volume. Anybody else make weird faces? when they put mascara on. All right guys, so the mascara is pretty much done. This is a trick that I like to do um, even in my daily makeup routine. I don't really like using eyelash curlers so what I like to do is once the mascara is on and it's still wet, I use my pinkies and I just kind of push them up a little bit and hold and make sure that it doesn't touch your eyeshadow, but I just do this for a few seconds and it kind of helps them stay kind of up and curled a little bit. I don't know, it might be kind of weird, but that's just what I like to do. And it does get all over your finger, but... For me, I think it helps. So, okay, mascara is done. Now I'm gonna do some highlight. I like to save the um, worst for last, which is the fake eyelashes. I can't stand putting them on, but that will be last. So now, some highlight. Let me find highlight. So I have a few that I use for highlight. I have a lot of different things. I have this Morphe palette that has a bunch of different highlighters on it. I have this face sculpting color stick by Ulta Beauty that is like a highlighter stick. Um, I have this Urban Decay Naked Illuminator 
that's what it looks like. So I don't know what I'm feeling today. I think I'm gonna use this. Oh, I also have this um, Morphe Maddie Ziegler Dewey stick. So I think I'm gonna use this as the base, just a little bit here, a little bit on top of my nose, on my upper lip. And then I like to just kind of pat it in with my finger. And I usually put a little excess under my eyebrows. And then I think I'm going to use one of these shades. So I'm going to use this shade called Spark with this brush right here and just do a little bit here. Okay, so that's that. And now the last part is just lips and fake eyelashes. So for the lips, I like to do kind of like an ombre effect. So I get this 24-7 Glide On Lip Pencil by Urban Decay, and this is the color 1993. And I will line my lips first, and I like to overline them just a little bit for the stage. And I take that liner and I kind of go in a little bit. So I take that and I go in a little bit. And then I will take this um, Eva Longoria L'Oreal Paris lipstick, and it's the color 610 Eva's Nude. I also have a lot of like the Kylie Jenner. Um, lipsticks. I have this Vivid Matte Lipid Li Liquid by Maybelline, and this is the color 5 Nude Thrill. So I will take, actually I think I'm, I'm going to do this one. Yeah, so this one right here, this is Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid Lip, and it's the color 5 Nude Thrill. And I'll put that on the inside. And then to darken it up a little bit, because this matches my face a little too much, I will use Kylie Jenner's Matte Liquid Lipstick, and it's the color Love Bite. And this is what it looks like, and it's more of a darker color. And this one is pretty dark, so I like to just put a little bit in the middle. And then I'll let my lips kind of do the spreading. And if there's any areas that need to be kind of fixed, I will fix them. And then I can always fix with the liner as well. So yeah, that is my lip combo. And that's pretty much the finished look. Occasionally I'll go back and just kind of um, use some more powders to make things look a little more even. So I'll sometimes take this like big brush and just kind of balance everything out on my face. Get rid of any harsh lines. But yeah, that is pretty much the look. And then the fake lashes. So the fake lashes that I used on stage are these Soul lashes. This is the Diva ones. I don't have any more of them but um, you can go on their website and order some. These I definitely highly recommend for Sage. I just bought these cheap ones for this video, so hopefully they go well. Those sole lashes are about like $25 for a pair, so they are a little bit pricey, but I definitely recommend them because they can be worn more than once. I wore them for two shows and it went really well. Um, so for the glue, this one is all gunky, so I'm really sorry, but I use the Tarte, Tardiest Pro, it's all dirty, but the Tardiest Pro um, glue, and it's black just like an eyeliner. And then what I usually use are tweezers to kind of help me place the lashes. I don't know if I'll be able to do it on camera, but I'll try, um, and we'll see how it goes. So These ones are going to be a lot more of like a natural look versus the dramatic sole lashes. But let's see what we can do. So I will show you what I do for applying the lashes. I usually grab 
the lashes with the tweezers like this. So already off the bat, these like name brand lashes, although I'm sure they're gonna work fine. The sole lashes, which I don't have any of them. I wish I had, oh, I think I have this one. No, that's not. Um, I don't have any of them to show you guys, but the band is, is much thicker, so it's easier to put on. This is gonna be a little bit tougher to put on, but I will try my best. Okay, so what I do is I kinda just hold it like this with the tweezers, and then I will apply the glue directly to the lash. Sorry guys, I'm trying to show you guys this the best I can so that you can actually see this but I like to kind of coat the top of the lash with the glue let me get a little bit more glue yeah just kind of brush it on there and I make sure to put a little extra on the corners right there and now and then you want to wait until the glue is kind of tacky so you don't want to put it on wet you kind of want to wait a little bit and then you put them on so I'm just gonna wait right, guys so I've waited a few minutes it's got plenty of the glue on there and I waited so that it kind of gets like tacky and I'm gonna try and do this on camera but no promises this was me trying to get the eyeliner to work so just ignore that I usually have to get really close to the mirror, so I don't know if I'll be able to do this on camera, to be honest. Alright, I got most of the lash on. I'm going to go really close to the mirror and just kind of get the corner in. Okay, so this lash is pretty much done, and what I do is I kind of just go in with the tweezers and just kind of push and hold. You can also do this with a um, toothpick. And push and hold and that lash is done now I'm gonna do the same thing with the other side and I will be right back all right guys so the fake eyelashes are done so these are not as dramatic as the ones that I usually wear on stage like I said these I just kind of bought cheap to do the video but then what I do once the fake eyelashes are done is I add just a little bit more mascara to blend the my real lashes with the fake ones and I don't go too rough with it because you don't want to rip the eyelashes off just in case. So just kind of lightly add a little bit more mascara. And then the final step is just setting spray, which I have in my bathroom. So let me go grab that and I will show you which setting spray I use. All right guys, so for the setting spray that I use, all of my makeup is so dirty, so I'm sorry, but it's by Benefit, and it's the Pore Professional Super Setter. And I just kinda shake it up, mist it all over my face, and that is going to keep your makeup in place for show day. You can never have too much setting spray, in my opinion. And that is it. Let me take my camera down from here. All right, guys, so that is the final look. I feel like it does look better when I'm actually, when I have the more dramatic lashes. I also need to get my eyebrows waxed, so. But yeah, that is my makeup for the stage. Let me know what you guys think. I hope that this was helpful. Like I said, I don't know a ton about what I'm doing, but the main goal is to look not too tan in the face, brighten up the middle of your face, the T-zone, have dramatic but not too dark eye shadow so that it still brightens your eyes and brings like light to them. And then a lip color that is dramatic but not too too bold and then also not too light and that's pretty much it hope you guys enjoyed if you have any questions let me know i will try and like put all the products that i used in the description box but yeah that's pretty much it 
and it's a Sunday night and I have nothing to do and nowhere to go and <laughs> this is what I look like. But yeah, if you guys have any questions, let me know. I hope that this was helpful and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching.